So this is Anthony Prince recording in with Funkadelic Threads. I've got Luffy here, post show at 420 Fest. How do you guys feel? Great. Great. Woo! Hi, he's Austin. Do you guys mind introducing yourselves? I know we've got a portion of the band here. I'm Christian. I'm Amber. I'm Robert. Birdo. Beautiful, beautiful. How'd you guys feel up there? Man, that was so great. I, I had a chance to chill here yesterday before the festival started. And everyone was just so sweet. Yeah, and so yeah, really. I just felt all those vibes from everyone that was out there hanging. Yeah. It was really cool. It was fun to watch the crowd grow. Like yeah. as the set went on and yeah. everyone was dancing and singing, it was great. Yeah. 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 I was a little concerned at first because we were on, I guess, basically the smallest stage of the festival, and sometimes you can kind of get shafted a little bit. Man, so many people came out and the, the crowd just kept growing. It was so enthusiastic. It's awesome. Yeah, they pinned you right in between two entrances. Yeah. So it's Which like, is kind of perfect. It's perfect. I don't know. Right. I thought it was like, yeah. I see food trucks and I see the entrance. It means everyone's going to have to see us before they go anywhere. And then they stayed, which was like, Super cool. The yeah. timing was solid. We could have been playing the grass. Yeah. Or like, we're saying, but or like we were happy to be there. Yeah. 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 So you guys have a new record on the way out. What's uh, tell me a little bit more about that? We brought a few pieces of the band out to Denver to start working through everything with our buddy Steve Boss, who I met years ago and uh, produced the first EP that we did. And from there, we, we worked through different kind of home studios and a few different studios here, or not here, but in in Nashville. And um, some of the songs have been written for even upwards of four or five, six years, and to bring them to fruition and watch the crew bring them to life was really a treat. Um, and that's it. You know? Wherever we could make the music happen, that's where we made it. It was a pretty uh, eclectic mix of recording spots and I think you can feel that vibe through the music that exists you know that we made so yeah, that's really cool is it yeah. uh, mostly the same people that were on stage here today that's just sitting on the record pretty much all the same folks yeah on it yeah. but as far as the locations where we made it it was <laughs> it was like wherever we could make it happen yeah it's, a, it's, it's, it's very difficult, artist to artist, like trying to release a record and really thinking about continuity most of the time. Most people want to do it all in one place. Yeah. And most of us also find the situation of like, well, how often, for various issues, can you get people there on, on under green amount of time? Big squad. Uh, yeah. Big squad, Eight right. People. I've known nine, a couple of nine people. Nine through the record, and then we, we're now at one guitar. So that's, that's impressive. Team. But yeah, eight or nine, whatever. I always thought, like, I grew up with this family that lived next to us and they had seven kids and I was like, how the hell do you guys do this? <laughs> and I was just like, wow, there's like eight of us. Yeah. And it's like really close. Yeah. And like kids, we all take care of our own shit, but it's it's really, it's been a, it's been an amazing process. It's cool and we're really excited for everything to come on May 11th and then for us to get kind of hyped and working through what the next process is. Yeah. Yeah. What's yeah. the name of the record? Stranger. Stranger. Yeah. Nice. Any particular reason to ask why? I mean, Austin says, you know, keep it weird, and and we always say, let's get weird. Um, there's a track on it called Stranger, but I, I feel like we always wanted to do something that was commercially viable, but, but at the same time make it a little bit stranger, and to, yeah. to kind of blend the lines between complete weird funk and, and, and also some commercial entity, that's, that's kind of what we're trying to do, so... Just a little bit stranger. Yeah. And if you say that enough, you're like, all right, I guess it is. That's it does feel strange. Yeah. yeah. It's cool. Well, who are you guys most excited to see uh, while you're talking, while you're uh, in town for the festival? Disky trucks. Yeah. Yes. Honestly, um, <laughs> we are actually playing an after party for Mo in uh, Asheville or Black Mountain, just outside of Asheville, over at Pisgah Brewing tomorrow night. So we're kind of bummed that we don't get to see like Wolfpack tomorrow. Yeah, night. True. big fans. Of that's, true. that's a favorite. We of really were really looking forward to seeing them. But uh, Steve Daddy, Mullen, Gaddy's sticking around. <laughs> yeah, Gaddy's gonna be chilling. Nice. Uh, one of the guys that was a writer on the Analog, kind of the more hip hop vibe track that we did, um, knows I guess a couple of the guys in Wolfpack have a bunch of mutual oh, friends. Oh, yeah, Steve awesome. Mullen. So, we were in an old band together, and we used to open for like the band that became. So we have, I don't know, it's like, it's a really small world. You know? It's we, we, such a small world. We look world. forward to seeing them, but but uh, I think J-Rat after us, and last night I saw Sturgill. Yeah. Sturgill. 
Sturgill Simpson, and uh, I mean, it, it, it blew my mind. It's yeah. amazing. It's been great to watch his trajectory at like festivals, even over the last few years. Like, yeah, yeah. I think great. I saw him at Bonnaroo the last two or three years, and it's been really cool. He, he popped my cherry last year. Yeah. Four dudes. <laughs> First time I've ever seen. Four dudes, and they sounded huge. Like it was. Yeah, I can't say enough about that set yesterday. That was that was really great. Wow. Honestly, the uh, Orange Constant that played before us, yeah. the guys from uh, yeah. are they they're Atlanta or they're so, so Athens. they were actually Athens. Yeah. They no, were born and raised like through high school in Alpharetta, so okay. Atlanta, okay. So right. around here. and uh, then they moved to Athens. So. Yeah, they were great, man. Yeah, I really enjoyed that set, chilling here and watching that. Um, it's been a cool festival. The, the people that are making it happen, you know. Everyone from even the interviews to the people taking photos to, to the sound guy and also the fans. It's been a really yeah. chill event yeah. and just really sweet people. Yeah. So we're excited to hopefully come back next year. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Well, we